G'day, g'day, Spartan Millie here, and welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel. Today we're doing a Euros 2020 prediction video. Now, if you've been on the channel for a while, you know this is quite a different sort of upload from me. Usually it's all like gaming and stuff, but I did, I have had some requests to incorporate some real football and Formula One content, which I'd, I'd love to do. So we're going to test it here. So if you enjoy the video, leave a like. Uh, if you're new to the channel, leave a like, comment down your thoughts, and um, maybe check out some other content. We have a goal of a thousand subs by the end of the year. So if you want to help us reach that goal, chuck a sub. It means the world to me. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, so I'm just using the predictor on the actual Euro 2020 site. If you want to check that out, it's in the description below. I'll put a link to it if you want to make your own prediction. I'll be very interested to see what you guys think. Obviously, this is in my opinion. Um, I've been trying to avoid watching other sort of YouTubers' opinions, so I get my sort of raw first-hand opinion without any bias. But I've looked at sort of some of the squads that are taking. I've got my sort of thoughts on each team um but yeah we'll go through it just quickly in the group stage here well not quickly but you know and i don't want this video to be too long but starting off here in group a we got switzerland turkey wales and italy now italy i have seen on facebook that they're predicted to be a dark horse and i do think that they'll top this group with ease um over switzerland turkey and wales to second place in the group i kind of rate turkey but uh, it's tricky, but I do think Shakira is pretty good for his national team. So go Switzerland second, um, and then Turkey third, Wales fourth. Sorry, Wales first. I don't think Gareth Bale, I think he's past his prime. Um, he had a decent season at Tottenham. I believe it was a pretty good season at Tottenham, actually. But to be able to carry a whole national team in your back against the likes of Italy, Switzerland, even Turkey, you know, they got a decent defense. So I don't think they're going to get it done. They might pick up a point against Turkey, um, but I think that's how Group A is going to go. Moving on to Group B here, we've got Russia, Belgium, Denmark, and Finland. Belgium have to go top of this group, really. Realistically, the team they have, they have to go top. I think I'm a bit biased because I'm a Chelsea fan, but Christensen is a great defender for Denmark. So Denmark actually have a strong team with Eriksen. Um, good midfield as well. So I think Denmark will easily get second place. And then I think Finland will be at the bottom. And Russia, third place, with a chance to qualify through the third place best teams. Obviously, the format of this group is a bit different to other... Um, international tournaments as i say there's six groups and if the top two teams from six groups go there's only 12 teams which doesn't really work so then the four best third place teams go up with the best points so i really only two third place teams go out so if you're a third place you have a decent chance but you've got to be able to get points in your group because it's a direct points with points based ranking system but moving on to group c here we've got austria um, north macedonia ukraine and netherlands now Netherlands, I would put top of this group, but they are missing Virgil van Dijk. Oh, um, I'm still going to go Netherlands first. I think Austria, they got a good team. Like Alaba, yeah, they got some good names in there. I think we'll go Austria second, for sure. I, it, it could easily be flipped, though. Honestly, it could easily be flipped. Netherlands, you know, like I said, missing van Dijk, but still got a solid team. Um, but I also think they're missing van Beek as well. I don't know, we'll leave it at 1-2, but easily could be the other way around. But we'll leave it at that for now. And then, out of these two, we're, we're saying North Macedonia get third, and Ukraine get fourth. Just something a bit different. Their first uh, Euros, I believe, they qualified for. So, you know, a bit of first-time spark. But moving on to Group D here, we got Scotland, England, Croatia, and Czech Republic. Now, I got quite a few English um, subscribers, so if you're watching this... No, I think England will easily top that group. Um, no bias there. Croatia easily second. Their, their squads are just on a different level to Scotland and um, the old Czechs. I'll go... I uh, will say... I don't know. Scotland's got decent decent players. We'll go third there and check fourth. They could easily be swapped around. They could easily be swapped around. But I think the top two will be England Croatia. But I think Scotland will pick up that third place. But I could be wrong. Obviously, I could be wrong in any of these. But... That one I'm a bit unsure of. All right, so moving on to Group E here, we've got Poland, Spain, Sweden, and Slovakia. Now, I think it'd be easy for me to put Spain at the top, and I think I am going to put Spain at the top, but maybe we'll change that. But this is where it gets interesting with Poland and Sweden. Obviously, I think Slovakia will probably take down the last last spot, just because this is actually quite a secret sort of, um, not secret, challenging group, but... Um, maybe flies under the radar a little bit. Obviously, Group E, Group F trumps it as the group of death. 
this is no near group death, but anyway, I'm getting a bit sidetracked here. They obviously have Lewandowski, Lewandowski, who's coming off the season of his life, 40 goals. We'll check Poland second just for that, and then Sweden third, but I think they'll go through through the third place anyway, so we may as well tick that for now. Um, group F, now this is the big group. Hungary fourth, I think. I think that's the safest bet I've done so far, unfortunately for Hungary. I, I think France... Yeah, I won't go too much, but I think France topped this group. And then Portugal second, Germany third. Just because Portugal got Cristiano Ronaldo, they won it last time out against France. Um, so you could argue, Lightning doesn't... I wouldn't say Lightning doesn't strike twice, because they played well in that final. But France now got the quality. They won the World Cup. They're going to want a bit of revenge for losing in 2016 in the final. Portugal, though, do have Ronaldo. And, and, and a couple other good players, a few other good players. But... I think France topped that group. Now, onto the f four best third place teams. I think Germany. I mean, the thing is with these, the points though, they had to pick up points. Um, but will any other third place teams really pick up points in their group? Like we got Italy, Turkey, they might pick up points against Switzerland. Russia will pick up points, maybe, against Finland. Don't think they'll pick up points against them too. Germany will definitely... Yeah, Germany are guaranteed to win against Hungary. If the, if a team doesn't beat Hungary and they finish third, I start to doubt them go through. Um, but Sweden could get results against Poland. They'll beat Slovakia. I've already got them ticked. Why am I checking that? Scotland won't get results. North Macedonia, I don't see them getting results, but someone's going to get results. All right, let's make a choice here. I think Russia could be a chance, and we'll say Turkey. North Macedonia and Scotland, sorry, you're out. But that is our group stage and... Well, the group stage... There are teams that are going through. Let's move on to the knockouts. All right, moving on to our round of 16 games here and the knockout rounds as a whole. But first game is Belgium versus Sweden. Now, Belgium will probably win it just because Belgium have got their golden age, it's called. You know, their golden group of players. They want to go deep in this tournament. Will they go the whole way? We'll soon see. But I think they'll get past Sweden. You could say Sweden had a tougher group with Spain and Poland and to get through second place there is a good achievement. But... Belgium did get through Denmark, who I think are kind of similar to Denmark in a way. Um, if not, Denmark are better. But yeah, Belgium going through in the first game there. Italy, Austria. I do think Italy will go on a bit of a run here. It's a bit of a dark horse. Um, obviously, got Belgium in the next round, which is going to be pretty difficult. But I think they'll beat Austria. Um, I think I don't think people rate Italy enough. But moving on to France, Turkey. We'll say France um, easily. I just think France, with uh, the quality they have, is just... Yeah, it, it'll blow Turkey out of the water, to be honest. Um, Croatia, Poland, I think Croatia's quality will probably get them through, obviously, World Cup, um, a few years ago now, uh, 2018, they got to the final, Lewandowski though is a good player, oh, you know what, we'll predict a bit of an upset, no we won't, let's go Croatia, no we won't, we won't predict an upset, Spain and Russia is our next one, Spain is, maybe not easily, I think it'll be high scoring, but in Spain, not really high scoring. You, we'll say Spain. I don't think Russia will be able to, you know, go on a run twice. You know, getting to the round of 16 is a pretty good achievement. I mean, they were a third place team, I believe. So maybe it's not that big of an achievement where only eight teams get uh, knocked out out of the 24. But, you know, fair play to them if they do this. But this is where it gets interesting. England, Portugal. The Golden Boys, England, who want to bring it home versus Ronaldo and Portugal. Oh, I'm going to say England. I mean, Portugal obviously won the thing last time out. Um, without Ronaldo, he was injured pretty early. But, you know, I think England are going to do something special here. I don't know if they'll win it. We'll see that later on down the bracket. But I think England will win that. But this is another tricky one. The Dutch versus Germany. Uh, I'm going to have to say Germany. I, I just think Netherlands are missing that final piece of the puzzle with Van Dijk. And it doesn't help that um, Beaks out as well. So, yeah, I think we've got Germany there. They'll have just enough quality to see that, see that game through. And then Switzerland, Denmark, Denmark, I think. Um, they have a bit more quality in defense and midfield. A bit more um, quality players. I, mean, I just sort of repeat myself, but you know what I'm saying. Switzerland have a couple good players, but I think Denmark will see that, see that tie through. On to the quarterfinals, so Belgium, Italy. Um... Dark Horses versus arguably one of the favourites. Look, Italy, I, I keep calling them a Dark Horse, but they're a, a quality team, and they always got quality players. 
Who do I think will win on the day, though? I think Belgium with Romelu Lukaku would just be too strong. I think they'll beat Italy. It might be a close game, but they'll beat Italy. France and Croatia, the World Cup replay. We know how the World Cup final ended. And arguably, France have gotten stronger. You could argue Croatia may have gotten weaker since then. And that was already a bit of a magical run. I think France will beat them quite comfortably, um, like they did in the World Cup final. But moving on to Spain and England here. I think Spain are usually a usually good team, but they're missing a lot of key players. England have got just a depth. So a couple of injuries, and they're fine still. I think England get through there. They're into the semis. And then Germany, Denmark. I think Denmark do have the potential here. They got Christensen. He will carry. But Germany are a tough, a tough team. I'm going to say Germany. But Denmark could get it over. I mean, it's only 90 minutes. And then obviously extra time. But in, it's not a two-legged affair. So one leg, a team can play better than another team. So... This is a very, like, Belgium, France, England, Germany, quite a boring bracket that I've predicted here because I'm just going off the stronger teams and, you know, past appearances, but um, past sort of history between the two teams. But really, it's 90 minutes of football. Anything can happen. And then if it gets the extra time, again, anything can happen in 30 minutes and then penalties, like, all form goes out the window. So, you know, it, might not, it probably won't be as predictable as this, but this is how I think it's going to go, the most probable way in my brain it goes. So, on to the semi-finals. Belgium, France. Oh, it's going to be a good game. I think this will be a high-scoring one. Mbappe versus Romelu. Um, but I think France will come out on top. It, it could be like a 4-3 spectacle, or maybe like a, a 3-3 and then extra time France come out, get a goal early in next time, and then Belgium will push up, France will get another one, 5-3, you know, I'm putting score lines in, because why not, why not, my mind is imagining things, but there it is, France are our first team in the final, who would join them, England or Germany, this is quite the tasty semi-final, England, Germany, you could argue Germany had an easier run to the semi-finals with Netherlands and Denmark, but they did get through the group of death. Um, obviously England just played Portugal and Spain, so they would be pretty tired out, especially if it goes long. You could, honestly, the thing is, they could be tired from Portugal. If that goes an extra time, um, and then they play Spain, who have arguably had an easy run against Russia, so they could, you know, that tiredness could make Spain more level. And, um, England will still beat Spain, but it might go to extra time again, and then England have played two extra times. I don't know. Uh, ultimately, though, I think England's depth will see them through. They have, like, just such a strong squad, um, which I'm going to say they beat Germany, but it's going to be close, and it could go down to the wire again. Honestly, England have got a tough run. Um, who's in their group again? England, Croatia. Oh, it's tough either way. You have to get through bloody France if you go this way. So, it really... It's, it's tough from England's position. I think they have to pull off three wins and then they got France in the final. Which, I mean, by the time they get here, France... I mean, we'll move on to the final now, I guess. But France-England final, what a final it'll be. Uh, France have played Turkey, Croatia and Belgium compared to England playing Portugal, Spain, Germany. Look, France have to win it. Um, one, I got money on them. So I honestly believe that they're going to win it. I got money on France to win it and Benzema to be a top goal scorer, just because it was good odds. It was paying like $34. But um, yeah, we won't talk about my bets, but also got money on Golo Kante to win Ballon d'Or. I'd love to see him win the Euro uh, Euros and the Ballon d'Or. Look, if he wins the Euros, he has to get the Ballon d'Or. Mbappe cannot be the favourite. I mean, yeah, I mean, depends on the tournament. But we're getting a bit so attracted here. France, I think just... Uh, and they won the World Cup, and they might go on with a bit of complacency, but I think they'll have the quality to see it off. Um, the Pogba... Like him or not, he's a good captain. I mean, not cap. I don't even know if he's the captain, but he's a good leader. He he'll make sure that they stay, keep their eyes on the prize. Um, seeing his team talk in the World Cup final was great, and um, you know, there's just such a good atmosphere in that French squad that I think England, while they will have a good run getting to the finals, one better than they did in the World Cup. Obviously, they went out to Croatia. But they'll be tired by the final, and that's that's just what I think. I know it might offend some people, but I think France win it. England could. England could. They could. I mean, anything could happen. I'm completely going off my own thoughts. This is my opinion, how I think the tournament will go. Um, I could be completely wrong. I could be all right. Very doubt that. If, if I'm completely right, I swear, 
I wish I put the house on it. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I didn't upset anyone too much. I mean, honestly, who cares what I think? But yeah, I just thought I'd you know, incorporate some real life football into the channel. Let me know what you think of this um, type of video. I'll look to do more of it. Maybe incorporate some Formula 1 as well. So yeah, leave your feedback down in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, check out some other contents. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Um, leave comments. Did I say comments or content? Check out some other content and leave a comment. That's what I meant to say. And um, yeah, join the Discord server. Message me on Discord. Follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff. And yeah, I'm super keen for the Euros. Go France. Go Kante. Go Benzema. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.